Hey everyone, uh, my name is Nitish and this is Vishesh, uh, he's my friend. Uh, we both work at Google, uh, we just moved to the Bay Area like two weeks ago. So like everything is fresh and all that. But um, So I'm a research engineer at Google DeepMind. I work uh, in the Gemini team and Vishesh is a senior software engineer at uh, Google. So yeah, we just thought we'll share our journeys and you know, just like reflect on what we did to get here. Yeah, and I think um, uh, one of the ideas of starting this channel is that uh, we both come from different backgrounds. Um, so our, our skills contrast each other. And I, as a software engineer, for example, have learned a lot from Nitish uh, about research and research background, what skills do you need and how do you approach a problem and from end to end. So there are a lot of things to learn from each other, we believe. And we think that um, the more we share, uh, we can also share with, the, with you folks and learn uh, together. Yeah, I think for, for starting, we'll just like describe our journey. We both are 25 and we worked in India for a couple of years. Um, both were at Google. We were in fact flatmates. Coincidentally, we are going to be flatmates here too. We just signed our, li uh, our lease. But uh, yeah, we'll just reflect on like maybe the last five years, both of us separately. Yeah. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll interrupt him for some questions because I think he's more experienced in terms of industry. Um, but yeah, so I was um, a dual degree student at IIT Kharagpur. <coughs> so I majored in electrical engineering and during my undergrad, I saw almost all of my friends were doing software engineering or basically they were preparing for software engineering in the sense that they were doing lead code and code forces and that was also how <coughs> like the placement uh, exams used to be. It used to be like coding questions and coding interviews. But I... Um, sort of didn't do that i don't know for what reason i'm i'm trying to re uh, recollect but uh, i basically only did research internships so my first research internship was with amazon so in fact it was an ibm research in bangalore that was in my third year and then at the end of my fourth year i um, interned at amazon in berlin i was in the alexa team and in those two experiences i learned you know how different um, a research internship or it was an applied scientist internship in Amazon, I saw how it was different from, you know, a software engineering internship. Because I think in research, the task is not really well defined. So it, it can happen that, you know, like, like if your internship is three months, you're actually spending like two months just defining a problem or even just finding headroom, you know, on what is a good problem to work on. And I like that aspect of research. Um, I like the sort of uncertainty. And sometimes it's not really good because you don't see progress, but I think eventually you get used to it and you start off like uh, get comfortable with like not making like not having clear definitions on your um, on your projects and after Amazon Berlin I joined in Amazon uh, in um, <coughs> in in Cambridge after my graduation I was part of the Alexa team I was um, an applied scientist there too and uh, I, I did I did research and after that I joined in Google research as an AI resident so I'd be happy to discuss more about the AI resident program in India, or it's also called as pre-doctoral researcher um, position. And it's like pretty, it's getting popular. So I'm happy to share more about that. And yeah, just two weeks ago, I joined as a research engineer in the Gemini team. And yeah, I've just moved to Mountain View and things are exciting. But yeah, happy to hear. Yeah, I think um, Nitish Shani has been inspirational, no doubt. And I think we'll, We'll talk about Not it really. more in our upcoming videos. <laughs> For me, I have um, I have around five years of experience. Um, I graduated in 2020 and I did my first internship at Amazon. It was my third year internship um, for two months. And then I received a PPO, which is pre-placement offer. But instead of joining Amazon back um, for a six months intern, I decided to try something out from a startup point of view because I had worked at Amazon and I wanted to see how startups work. So I joined um, ShareChat as a six months intern, summer intern, and I learned a lot there, to be honest. Even though I was working as an intern, I worked on building really big features, scaling them and taking them to production. And um, it was a very nice experience. <coughs> 
working at Sherjet and Amazon both. After that, I joined Amazon um, Hyderabad, and then the COVID came. So most of my time was um, work from home. After two years, um, I I moved to a team in Amazon Seattle. Um, it was in retail, but um, after a short stint of three months, I left Amazon. I got a better opportunity um, in GCP as a L4 uh, SWE in GCP. Google Cloud. GCP yes, is Google Cloud. Yeah, Google Cloud platform. And um, after that, um, I worked for two and a half years um, in Google um, as a backend engineer, and um, I got promoted to a senior software engineer after two and a half years um, and after that six to seven months I have moved to Bay Area recently it's been um, as Nitish said like three to four weeks and it has been a very um, eventful journey uh, I think I had my own share of uh, wins and losses and I'm excited to work more and learn more in my new team and in this new place yeah um so i guess um like how our day-to-day job looks like um is also a little different um and yeah we'll like dive deep in this channel but uh yeah as, as vishesh mentioned we uh, did learn so much from each other um in terms of you know how different um our skill sets are you know how our day-to-day job looks like and you know the criteria for success is also you know slightly different um you know like so that's something that we um, will will dive deep into and uh, maybe we can also look into the preparation, you know, like what you need to do in college and, you know, how are you like, like how can you position yourself uh, to, to be hired by Google and to also explore um, different roles um, at other, other big companies. So, yeah, I can like discuss a little bit more about just my day to day job. So I'm on the Gemini team and um, so I'm a research engineer, as I said, so the task is to like, you know, improve Gemini. That's the sort of higher level thing. But, you know, what you do there is like uh, a variety of things. Uh, many of many of you guys would know ML research or have some experience in ML research. So if, you, if you've done a good amount of research, you'll know a lot of time is like spent in building, you know, good evals. Uh, how do you measure the access that you want to like improve these models in? So my manager used to say, um, uh, you know, like this, like if you want to like hill climb or you want to like climb a mountain, you should, de- I mean, defining a good metric is actually identifying the right mountain. So there's a lot of things you can do, a lot of mountains you can climb, but it's the right mountain. So the, the, the right mountain is designed, decided by the right metric. So that's something that is like sort of like universal in research. Um, I think people spend like months to years, in fact, just defining a good metric. And then obviously there are a lot of modeling techniques um, to improve improve these models. And I think in Vishesh's role, um, like things are at a bigger scale, right? And yeah. yeah. And I think my journey has been um, um, so I I have worked as a backend engineer for most of my um, time in in corporate, and uh, I think uh, scale is definitely one of the biggest problems, and. I have been part of the cloud security team, so understanding the security aspects, authorization, authentication, and performing it at scale to make sure it is accurate and um, low latency, high availability, and different other aspects of um, um, building distributed systems has been uh, something. And I feel um, as and when you grow in your career, you realize that the problems get more and more abstract and it is not defined what you have to work on. So your responsibilities also, job responsibilities also starts to fade away in some sense. You might have to behave like a product manager in some, uh, at some times, and then sometimes you have to um, wear your coding hat and code it out. So yeah, it has been a great journey. I have had great mentors who have helped me in my career. And that is one of the things I would like to even provide through this channel uh, mentorship so that I can help any of um, you folks to help grow in your career. Yep. 
cool get excited and yeah see you in the next video and yeah we decide what we'll speak on but happy to hear your thoughts thanks bye, bye.